Okay, FS19. We're gonna go with the flat map, and I'm gonna show you guys how to hire a worker. to uh, plow a new field. Wish I had a way to hold this with, and still use controller with both hands. But oh well. Just for information, I am on Xbox One. Oh, it's so slow. Finally, okay. First off, brand new map. see these fields were created these are the fields you start off with uh, still quite a bit of space out here what you start off with is go to launch tractors get anything with a front three point length with plenty of horsepower in it go to tools plows the six meter subsoiler by lizard go to Cultivators, get the Gru Unimat 660, uh, which I already have here. Whoa. Having some difficulty. There we go. Get that up off the ground. Great field, unfold. One handed is not easy.
Now granted, in order to start this worker off, you have to put in a little bit of work. button, lower your plow, lower that, cruise control, now this doesn't have to be perfectly straight in order to do this, but it helps. Go a little ways. Stop. Go back to the plow. Raise that up out of the ground. Now, here's where you can start using the worker. Back up. Lower your plow. Get it halfway straight. Go forward. Power worker. Do the fact that the worker is halfway on the plow ground here. It, with the plow function, create new field on, it will actually begin to create the field. But you need three passes or headlands. As you can see there, it stops. Stop that worker. Turn the worker around. Well, turn the tractor around. I'll get it right here in a moment. Get this relatively straight. Back up. Lower your plow. Go forward. Higher worker. This is only the start of the field. A little bit of work up front goes a long way. Controller, right there, not touching anything, stop that worker, I can, well stop, yeah, stop the worker. Back to the other side where we're going to start. Get lined up. Drop the plow. Get straight. Drop the cultivator. Cruise control. Let it go for a little ways. Stop. Raise the plow. Get the tractor. And whole apparatus turn around. Drop the plow again. Back up to get an edge. Go forward. Now, as you can see over there, we will have a gap here. 
That's fine. And hunky dory, that's what you kind of want. This is just a small example. Get everything lined up. Raise the plow. Get your tractor and everything turned around. Halfway lined up. And go. You can do it like this. And get things started like this. Fire the worker. Now, here's where everything comes into play. Line your worker up. Hit start. Now, granted, this is going to be an overhang. Quite a bit. But, from here, the worker, you've set the worker to a default spot, which in turn, will force the worker to go this way. We'll let the worker run for a minute, and yeah, we'll see how well it works, shall we? Well, it should turn left. Get back right. No hands on. Look at low as the plow. Low as the cultivator and goes. This works fairly good on the flat map, so. Most likely you can use it on any map, so this is just something that I found works. And from here on out, let the worker go. Don't bother with them, don't fire them to fix something, you'll just have issues later. Goes down. Goes forward, drops that, and away your worker goes, creating your field for you. Hope you enjoyed, have a nice day.